Welcome back everybody to Resident Evil Director's Cut. In the last episode I got all the uh, crests, which unlocks this door and let's go through it and see where it takes us. Ah, uh, there's some stairs. See something all the way on the top shelf. Oh, crank. All right. Oh, so now we're back outside. Look at all these herbs. I hear some dogs. Oh, no, I don't want to check this. No, I don't want to check this. Combine. Alright. Oh, the radio. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Please respond. What the hell? Is nobody out there? Brad, this is Jill. Yeah, the, the radio that Richard gave us, I guess, has a dying battery in it. So it's just about out of juice, so that's why Brad can't hear us. So that's the map of the garden. Let's go through this gate. And what we have here is like a little, it's a water passage, but it's filled with water, a little pond here. So let's go over here, use the crank. And it raises the damn gate. So now we can cross. And then there's snakes that drop from the trees. I don't know if they poison you or not. here but it's not operable because there's no power to it and we see that the battery has been removed let's continue over here now one thing I didn't mention about this game I should have like in the first episode um, if you're injured if you're in the caution phase or danger phase you can't really tell um, uh -oh. Alright, that's enough of that You can't really tell by Jill because in this game um, this is before they introduced 
on the characters to like limp and stuff whenever they're hurt. So you, you can't tell. The only way to tell if you're hurt is you have to hit pause and you've got to look at your um, stat right there. ECG or whatever. I'm going to pick up these blue herbs just because um, we're going to be fighting some spiders and they can poison you. But yeah, um, even whenever you're in the danger phase, Jill will still run and move normal. So, um, I guess the good thing about it is you can still get to places fast. Like, you know, you won't limp which slows you down. So I guess that's the good thing about it. Now there's some blue herbs over here too, but... Uh. Now you notice this statue here of a gargoyle or whatever. I'm gonna move it all the way down the hallway because you'll see right around the corner here there's gonna be a hole in the ground. And every time you walk by with the hole exposed, this vine will reach out and like grab you and I think sooner or later it will hurt you. I don't know. But it's just an inconvenience because it wraps around your leg or does something to you and slows you down. So I'm going to put that over the hole. And I believe this is a save room. I should just... I just waited to come here. Uh, Alright, we got a first aid spray. Well, I can unload some of this junk. Um, let's get rid of the crank. Yeah, crank. First aid spray. And a blue herb. Why not? And there's some explosive rounds. I've yet to use the bazooka, but we will. I will, trust me. You'll get to see it in action once I get back to the mansion. Alright, so let's go in these red doors first. This is like to the game room. Has a pool table and bar and pinball machine. Yeah, all that cool stuff. There's a spider on the ceiling. There's actually two of them. Okay, it didn't kill me. Now what I like to do is, you see all them little spiders run out of a big spider after I blew it in pieces? Um, I usually go out of the room and then come back in because they'll disappear. And those spiders are annoying, like they'll keep hitting you and slowing you down. And I think sooner or later they will hurt you also, so. I just like to uh, go in and then go back out, you know. Go out or go back in. Oh, where's this other spider at? There it is. So let's do the same thing. Go back in. Now there's really not much in here. Um, there's like a clue, like a code that we're going to have to put in further in this guest house. That's, I guess that's what I, you can call it. It's like a guest house for the mansion. There's a pinball machine. Oh, it's broken. Um, there's a pool table. Now if you go over here, looks like a clock dial. Three, four, five. Some kind of code. Yeah, we're going to need that. Let's go over here. I think there's some ammo over here. There's an ink ribbon on that table, and there's a clip on these barrels. Alright. Well, let's go in here. It's one of many bedrooms, guest rooms. 
hear some. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh. Oh. Another zombie. Oh. Here we have a red book. And we can unlock each and every one of these like nightstand tables, desk. And usually they have shells in them, shotgun shells. Um no, yeah, nothing else is there. So let's go in the bathroom. In the bathroom, yeah. Dirty tub. Drain it. We find a surprise. It is the control room key. Don't know what it would be doing in the bottom of a muddy tub, but. Alright, let's get out of here. back to the save room and get rid of more junk. Uh, blue herb. Um, hmm. Guess I can get rid of this book right now. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna need it soon, but I'll just come back for it. all over the walls. Hmm. There's a key right here and a giant beehive. <laughs> Dormitory key. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Those bees get us. Um, hmm. All right. Okay, so that dormitory key opens this. Um, you know what I'm going to do just to save time? This is where you put in the 345 code. Yes. Three, four, five. Now normally I wait to do this, but I'm just gonna get, get it done now. There's a giant plant that has taken over this guest house. So what we have to do is we're going to have to mix this chemical called V-Jolt to spread it on its root, which makes it weak because right now it's like invincible. If we go in and shoot it, it won't die. So what we have to do is we have to make this chemical called V-Jolt, which weakens the root and makes it vulnerable. Alright, so there's a fourth empty bottle over there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Now, you notice that there's writing on the wall right here. I'm going to have to refer, refer to it quite a few times. Number one is water. Number two is red. Number three is purple. Number four is green. And also over here, one plus two is three. Three plus four is seven. Two plus four is six. Six plus seven is thirteen. Thirteen plus three is sixteen. So we have to get up to sixteen. So the first sequence we got to do is two plus one. And um, so let's go over here and get water. Water is in one. Uh, 
All right, so let's get number two. Where is number two? No, I don't want to read the wall again. Maybe number two's over here. Ah, you know what? Maybe I can't do it yet. I don't think I can do it yet. I can just get water. I know why. I have a pretty good reason why, because we don't know about it yet. So never mind. Let's cancel that. That was a waste of time. Sorry about that. I thought I could save time by doing that now, but there's all there's herbs back here too. If you need them. There's a map. Dormitory sketch. More shells. Ah, maybe this tells us. Uh, yeah, it just tells us about the giant plan, I guess. in the sink. Alright, so we know this uh, ladder back behind these china cupboards or bookcases or whatever. Let's go down. see a box. Let's do this first. Let's push it out a little bit and then push it this way. We have to get it against the other wall. Okay. Let's push it all the way down here. There's going to be three of them. Kind of like in the sequel, Resident Evil 2. We have to make a bridge with these three boxes across this little river or whatever. So push this down. And get the last one here. in my basement in my own in my old house every time it rained what a pain in the ass now this room here this is what I was talking about you go over here and we notice a giant plant root yes yeah, so this is where we have to put the V jolt sprinkle it on the root once I make it. But I'm going to do that in the next episode. So I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.